Hello. Uh, this is uh, Sarfaz Niazi again talking to you about uh, COVID-19 misconceptions. I think uh, in the past few weeks, uh, there has been a lot of talk about COVID vaccines coming in. I've written quite a bit about it, but I just want to share with you today that there's no vaccine coming this year. And if it shows up next year, consider yourself lucky. The reason is that testing of vaccines takes a long time. In some cases, it has taken 25, 28 years to get a vaccine approved. Why? I think the issue is not with the efficacy. We can show the efficacy, but the safety part requires a long time because the safety issues relate to autoimmune disorders, which don't just show up the next day, sometimes it takes years. So how do you shortcut that? But before we go and talk about shortcutting the safety part of it, I wanna talk to you about the efficacy also. So a vaccine is tested by comparing how many people who are getting a placebo, which is normal saline solution instead of vaccine, are coming down with infection compared to your treatment group that has received the vaccine. Now, how many people you need to inject depends on incidence rate. So in a global basis, the incidence rate is 0.042%. In US, it is substantially higher. So in evaluating the efficacy of vaccine, all you need to show is that 150 or 160 subjects who received placebo came down with COVID as compared to how many came down who received the vaccine, just 160 or 150. But don't uh, get confused about the number. To get 160 COVID patients, it will probably take uh, 30 to 40,000 tries to get it. Now, these trials are done globally. So there's a lot of variation. In US, it is a much better chance to catch somebody in a COVID so a study can be done faster here. So it is still based on very small number of subjects that they turned up positive as opposed to the vaccine. So that's the one part of it. Second part is that FDA allows a vaccine to be approved. For example, the example I gave you, if 160 subjects who got placebo or normal saline came down with uh, COVID-19, then FDA will allow up to 80 uh, people who got the vaccine before they'll approve it. So by very definition, I'm not saying this or I'm not criticizing it, by very definition, a vaccine is only 50% effective. This is how it is being approved. So in a sense, okay, if I give it to 100 million people, it will only be good in 50 million. Rest of them will still be subject to infection. Number three, which is I think is just as important, is that you don't know what the side effects are going to be. The two cases that we saw in AstraZeneca vaccine, okay, were a good example, uh, but I don't know whether it show up when I give it to million people. That's where the risk comes because the use is so broad. It's not like a drug which is given to, say, 100,000 or maybe a million people. Okay, this is going to expose the entire world, if, if you will. So it's not coming this year. Uh, if it comes next year, it will be lucky. And if everything works out, it's still, it is going to be at least 50% ineffective by definition, not my criticism by definition. Now comes my criticism, okay, is that there is a study that's showing 
that the virus can also enter through your nose into your brain. In brain, there is a different immune system. It's called neuroimmune system that works by creating inflammation. Now, keep in mind, nothing goes across the blood-brain barrier, the virus or any drug or any antibody. In a sense, those who are vaccinated will get the COVID, but not die of lung collapse. They will die of brain stroke and nothing you can do to protect it. This antibody would not work in the brain. So if I take that into account also, I have a great suspicion today talking to you whether we will be able to get even 160 subjects in the placebo and get no more than 80. What if half of them get infection through brain and they also end up showing positive. So everything is pretty much iffy at this point. It is because of this unique nature of this virus. It has nothing to do with uh, anything other than this is a very different beast. So if you are all hoping that there will be a vaccine soon and that will be a panacea, so whether vaccine comes soon or late, it is not going to be a panacea regardless. What I'm afraid is, is that you will get the vaccine and you will go hog wild and you're going to create another wave of infections and we'll be back to square one. So I, I beg you that the only thing to do is to protect yourself. Uh, the scientific evidence overcomes any emotional evidence. Okay? You may have a Second Amendment right to do whatever you want to do, but you don't have the right to kill others and yourself, hopefully. So protect yourself. Uh, yes, a vaccine will be a good addition, but no, a vaccine is not the panacea. Stay safe, friends. Stay healthy and stay optimistic that we will find a solution like we have as a mankind for many, many, many calamities that came to us. We will win.